Hey, good morning, friends. We get to be in person today for church. Hope to see you here after a while. Thankfully, our weather broke, and uh, we actually can have the privilege of being able to be in person for worship, and we look forward to seeing many of you today. Uh, let me read to you from Psalm 38, verses 4 through 8. It says, My guilt overwhelms me. It is a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and stink because of my foolish sins. I am bent over and racked with pain. All day long I walk around filled with grief. A raging fever burns within me and my health is broken. I am exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. And David writes this psalm. Psalm 38. We're not exactly sure the circumstances around which he writes this psalm, but the thought that popped in my mind for me and for you was, can you remember the last time that you were so sorry for your sin, so sorry for something that you had done wrong, that you felt like David did as he prayed to the Lord here in Psalm 38? So sorry for your sin that you felt your guilt was overwhelming, that your burden was too heavy. <laughs> so sorry for your sin that you felt like your wounds fester and stink, that you were doubled over in pain, filled with grief, your health was broken, you were exhausted and completely crushed. And that's the way David describes it. Now, we know a few things that David did wrong. We know of his adultery, and, and we know that he had Uriah killed to cover up his adultery. We know of those things. I'm sure there were other sins. We're not exactly sure which one he's talking about here. But really, in Scripture, the specifics of the sin shouldn't matter that much. It's sin in general, whether it's jealousy, gossip, or murder. Now, some affect other people more than others, but all of sin affects us the same as far as the consequences go. I tried thinking in the last time that I felt this way, and I couldn't come up with an answer. In fact, I don't know that I've ever felt this much sorrow for my sin. I mean, I usually feel bad about what I've done, and I carry some guilt around for a while. But when I confess it and repent from it, I usually just move on. Never have I grieved like this over my sin. Ever. And maybe that's the problem. I wonder if I take my offenses seriously enough. I wonder if I really grasp the full consequence of my disobedience. I would hazard, hazard a guess that uh, this is precisely why David was called a man after God's own heart. Not because he was sinless, but because he grasped the depth of his sin against God and he humbled himself in remorse. Pray with me. Lord, today I just want to ask that you would help me to see, help us to see the consequence of our sin. Just how much it offends you, grieves you, wounds the relationship. And Lord, I pray that you'd help us to take our sin seriously. That's what we ask for today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you.